Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't look back at it. Even if God rips it out of your hands in a very dramatic way, right? Sometimes it takes like a tragedy, right? Like, whoa, okay, I guess this season is over, right? Like out of nowhere, the house was sold or the house burned down, whatever it is. Just be okay with it and don't hanker for what's gone now. It's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. This season's going to leave you. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I'm realizing I've been too comfortable. I'm stagnating and can't help but feel like a king in someone else's castle. I'm also drawn to this distraction of partying on the weekends, which isn't optimal for my goals. Part of me feels like I'd be crazy to give up my lavish living situation like it is, where I live in a beautiful home with lots of space for myself, a respectable roommate, and a social hub which provides lots of social value. As an extroverted guy who likes socializing, I'm worried about loneliness from losing the social circles I've established, as I'm still relatively new to the area I live. As I look at other options, I can't help but feel like leaving would be a major downgrade and a huge mistake. I'm torn on what to do. What are your thoughts on this? And what would you do if you were in my shoes? So you're torn in that your life is too comfortable. You say it's too comfortable and you're resisting it. And you also bring up the fact that you've been listening to my rants on comfort and having a comfort crisis as, as men. And I want you to step back for a moment. I want you to kind of like forget everything you've heard I say. And I want you to just to look at your life and how things are, even if it is comfortable. And I want you to have no judgment. Look at all the wonderful things that you have. You talk about the, the nice house that you guys are living in. It's like a mansion, two guys in their 20s. It's a, it's a, it's a bachelor pad and you have a beautiful uh, social situation. Bro, your life right now, you've hit, you've hit the lottery. You've hit the lottery. And the first thing, the very first thing I would encourage you to do is to be grateful for it. Be grateful in times of prosperity and be, be uh, generous in times of adversity, right? I know it sounds like a contradiction, but the whole idea is that what you're trying to do is resist. You're resisting where you're at right now, and I want you to accept where you are. I say the same thing to guys that are going through tough times in their life. Elliot, the sky is falling down. Things are going bad. My life is falling apart. And what do I normally say? Hey, look at the things that you could be grateful for and be grateful for it first. That is, you know, when I say, when I quote Ralph Waldo Emerson, I say every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. That should be our baseline sentiment to proceed from, which is gratitude. You have a great life. Things are going well for you. It's okay. Accept it. Accept it and, and live it out fully. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story about good old Uncle E right now. Between 2017, 18, 19, and 2020, I was living in a nice suburban house, a nice suburb of, of Clearwater called Feather Sound, in a beautiful house, well-manicured lawn, surrounded by other wealthy neighbors. I couldn't have asked for anything more. My life was pretty perfect. My, uh, my career, my job was going well, my children were going well, my, my wife is going well. Everything is going so well in my life. And I knew I was bored. I knew that I was stale and stagnating, like you say, right? I knew that I was meant for more, that I could do more. But I grew up. An old Elliot would have resisted that and I would have started making problems. I know myself because I've done this before. When things start going good, I create problems. I'm like, man, damn, things are too comfortable. Things are too nice. Things are too easy. I gotta fuck it up. And I've done that. I've done that so many times in my life. But at this point, right, between 2017 and 2020, I was going through a revolution of, of self. I was going through a, an evolution of self and I started to realize things that I was doing to self-sabotage. And I would look back at mistakes that I've made and realize, oh, that was silly, I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I created that problem. Created all kinds of problems. So you know what I did instead? Especially 20, like 19 and 2020, I began to be complacent. I allowed myself to be complacent for the first time. I allowed myself to say, hmm, well, this is it. This is okay. I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to make the best of it. My life was nice. 
and I didn't resist it at all, right? There were even people like fans that would watch me and they would even say, oh, Elliot's complacent. Elliot's complacent and that's why he's not making videos. Or, you know, El Elliot, will never ha Elliot will never be the old Elliot because he's not striving anymore. And an old version of me would have been like, oh man, that hurts. Oh, fuck that, I can't. I wanna be the old Elliot. I wanna strive again. But you know what I did? I didn't do that. I said, my life is good, I'm grateful. I'm good right where I am. And I'll just, and I, I began to settle in my mind saying that, well, this is just gonna be where I am for the rest of my life, right? I was, I was accepting that in my life. Well, this is just gonna be it. This is gonna be it for the rest of my life. It was the first time that I was ever okay with things, right? And things were great and I was allowing myself to be okay. But you gotta remember, man, that there is a plan for you. There's a path for you. There's a pattern laid for your life that is grander than you've ever imagined. And at the time is right, when the time comes, you're gonna be kicked out and forced into another level. Just like in video games, right? Like you start, you start beating a level, you start winning a level, it's like you're comfortable with that level, right? You're comfortable with that level, you know where all the bad guys are, you got a rhythm for it and you just gotta beat the boss and you beat the boss easily, then it's time to level up, but you don't have to do anything, right? What happens? The game loads up with the next level. You right now, you're kicking ass in your life. You're beating the bosses in your life. You're winning at all things. Be okay with that. Keep winning. But at a certain point, that level is gonna be over and you're gonna be forced to level up. This is what happened to me. Right now, I'm at the ranch. Right now, I'm on 42 acres. Right now, I have a house so big that I haven't even put away my books. I don't have time to do anything. I am so busy. I am so stretched right now. And it's why? Because I allowed myself to settle. I allowed myself to be comfortable. I allowed myself to be grateful where I was at. And then by and by, all of a sudden, God goes, boom, time to level up. I don't think I would have been able to level up the way I'm able to level up right now, had I been anxious, had I been worried, had I been judging myself the way you're judging yourself right now. Don't judge yourself. Let yourself be. Be comfortable. Have fun. Enjoy your social situation. Enjoy the partying on the weekends if that's what you're up to right now. Set a standard for yourself. Set a heartbeat for yourself and consistently work. You never stop working. That's one thing a man never stops doing is working. Even if that means you're doing yard work around his house, even if it means making your bed and brushing your teeth, even if it means chop wood and carry water, basic stuff. Just keep working, keep working, keep working. Keep taking care of your health, right? Partying on the weekends is okay, right? It's all right, but don't abuse yourself, right? Don't take it to the extreme. Give yourself boundaries. When I was living that comfortable way, when I was living in Feather Sound and life was good, I create, that's the time when I started creating small boundaries for myself because I got to a point where life was going so good and we were, my wife and I, we'd go downtown and that was when like Uber didn't require masks, right? 2018, 2017. And we would, we, I would go downtown, I would get hammered, smoke cigars and take an Uber back home. And then I caught myself and I said, you know what, I need some boundaries. And then I created a boundary. I said, no more after midnight. I can, I go out there, I do what I want to do. I have a good time. But once midnight rings, right? Just like Cinderella, I gotta go home, I gotta go home. No matter what's going on, I gotta go home. That's just a matter of still exercising your discipline. That's about exercising self-control because self-control is a muscle and you never want that muscle to go weak. You don't want your self-control ever to get so out of hand or so weak that you can't, you can't draw yourself back in. So create little boundaries for yourself. Say, you know what, I'll party, I'll party on the weekends, but only every other weekend. I'll party on the weekends, but I'll be home by midnight. I'll party on the weekends, but I don't drink, right? I'm having a good time out there. Doesn't mean I have to poison myself with alcohol. Give yourself little boundaries just so that you can hold yourself accountable, but fully engaged. Be fully engaged. Earlier, I was talking about being an extremist. And I believe there's a situation here, too, also. Allow yourself to be extreme. Allow yourself to be extreme in this good place. And then when it's over, this is so important. This is so important. When it's over, let it be over. Like right now, my life is chaos and I'm loving it, right? Because I went from living very comfortable, very, very complacent to I can't stop, man. I was working right up until the minute I came on this call with you guys. I got two dogs now, right? 
And as soon as I get off this call, I got a whole bunch of things I got to do because the pool's not working right. I got green algae in it. And I got lawns that need to be mowed. I got a whole lot of shit. And then it's starting to thunder. It's starting to thunder and lightning right now. But I love it because I was just asked to level up. I'm on the next level. Isn't it fun when you're playing a video game and you get to the next level because the first level was just getting too easy? You like it. It was good. You win. You did your best. But you get to that next level, you're like, oh, shit. There's a whole set of new challenges coming my way. And you're a little excited about it. So that's the thing. When this season ends, when this level ends, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't look back at it. Even if God rips it out of your hands in a very dramatic way, right? Sometimes it takes like a tragedy, right? Like, whoa, okay, I guess this season is over, right? Like out of nowhere, the house was sold or the house burned down, whatever it is. Just be okay with it and don't hanker for what's gone now. It's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. This season's going to leave you. You'll just, you'll just be able to look back and say, hey, that was great. Just like when I was talking to the other young man earlier today about being an extremist. When I was young, I was beating myself up and I was being a battery ram and, and doing heavy squats for a lot of reps and I can't walk and shit like that. That season's over and I don't lament. I'm not like, oh man, I wish I could do that. No, I look back and I'm like, damn. That was fun. I'm happy I was fully engaged. I'm happy I did that. I'm happy I didn't go halfway. I'm happy that I had that experience. But now I'm on to something new. And that's what's happening to you. And so fully engaged, be fully, be fully engaged in everything that you're doing. Be very grateful for everything that's going on in your life. And don't be attached. Don't be attached. And you'll be all right, man. Don't and one last piece. Just stop judging yourself. Let yourself be. Enjoy this time. You're in your mid-20s, right? Enjoy this time. Not everybody gets this. You get it. It's a gift. It's a gift. Accept it as a gift, and then move on, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.